Hello everyone, this is Chef Dan, and what is in my hookah today? This is the second review I've done today, and I've been itching to try it, so I just decided to go ahead and do it. This one is for Zomo's World Experience line, the first one, Dry Sahara. Now, I've been curious about it, and I even stopped myself from looking up what it tastes like. And as soon as, as soon as I open the package, it is definitely a coffee flavor. Now, this one leaked out in the box a little bit, so I guess I didn't seal it very well. This is the blonde leaf tobacco, and it is similar in color to Al Thacker Golden, just a little bit darker. So there is, probably is a bit of artificial coloring in it. If it is, great. If it isn't, oh well. It's just how it's made. And the cut is not small, but it is, to me, it's consistent because all the pieces are about the same size. So if you see here, you see it's kind of like a light coffee flavor, golden, amberish brown, something like that. And the cut is, the pieces are similar in size to me. So I've been actually really looking forward to trying this. The smell. It's definitely one of a dark, sweet coffee, especially the strong kind you can get in Middle East or in Africa or in Egypt. So it definitely lives up to its name that it's a Sahara kind of motif being a strong coffee. Now, it doesn't smell terribly sweet, but you do get a uh, sweetness off of it in the nose. And so far, so good on everything. It's juicy as you can see. It's, but it's not swimming or anything, so you get what you pay for, and you're paying for tobacco, so you're going to get tobacco. Now, I haven't switched the water out on this yet, but it really hasn't ghosted at all. This is the same one that I've been using, the Zara Spade with three CHX coals, uh, flats on top of it from Hookah John, the Hookah John 80 foot 80 bowl, oil and water in the base and the Zara lounge hose so I already said about the scent of it so I'm going to get right into the flavor <coughs> yeah that one's a bit harsh so let me try to change that there might be a minty in it or even this hidden mint because I'm not smelling any but when I just took that drag before it actually hit me harsh in the throat it was very cold so I'm trying to figure out how that works I'm gonna do a purge give it another shot on the flavor yeah it's definitely a strong coffee flavor it's a very black coffee there is a very light sweetness in the background, but it's like as if you went into a Starbucks or a another coffee house or something. You get that sweet, sugary kind of scent plus the coffee in the air. So that's what it really smells like when on when you're on the exhale. On the inhale, though, there's that cold sensation again. It comes out through the nose and in the throat. And it does that much stronger on the inhale. Definitely a flavor of coffee. But there's some kind of cooling in it. So either there's something wrong physically with my body and I'm feeling something that isn't there. Or there's a very slight hint of mint in it. Yet I'm not getting any mint flavor. So that's kind of an enigma to me. The clouds on the other hand. Yeah, clouds are great. <coughs> that wasn't harsh it was that cooling effect I'm not sure what that is I had an uber mint on the same hookah earlier today but I purged it well and all that so I'm not really getting any mint flavors so I doubt that's it and it's not burning it's just very very cold as if you like put your mouth over something that's really really cold not really touching it and breathing it in and it just has a really kind of literally punches you in the throat cooling flavor. So that's what it feels like. And as I'm just breathing normally, you still get that cooling sensation. Let me purge it again and then 
go down to two coals and see if that makes any difference. because we have an air show coming up here in a week or two. And if you're coming to Las Vegas, come and see it. It's at Nellis Air Force Base. Find out all about it online. So, on the flavor, it has that cooling sensation, and I can taste something, but I can't really put my finger on it. So, it says Dry Sahara on the box, but it's definitely a coffee flavor. It has a coffee and sugary sweetness to it, but it's not the kind that hurts your teeth or is cloying. It's more in the inhale and exhale than it is on the taste. So if you like coffee, go and give this one a shot. And the cloud. Yeah, clouds are good. Yeah. So I'm gonna give the flavor a six out of 10 because I don't really go towards coffee since it kind of puts me to sleep. So 6 out of 10 on the flavor. Buzz is about a 1.5 so far, but I'm sure it will get stronger. A 1.5 out of 10. It'll probably go to 2. And the clouds, I'm going to give a 7.5 out of 10 because it'll probably get stronger. And 9 times out of 10, it does every time after I get done with the review. So go get some. It's about $3.50 to $4 a pack. You can get it at 5starhookah.com or Hookah Junkie or Hookah Heroes. You can pretty much get it almost anywhere. So there's that. I hope you go try it. And this is the first of the Zomo World Experience line that I'm going to try, and I'm looking forward to the rest. So go get some. Have a great day, and happy smoking.